And you guys know by 15, 16, 17 years old, I was already bigger than I am now. So let me try to explain off season again so you guys fully know, is that most of you kids are uh, trying to stay really lean. Like, hey dad, they have these things called plates. No, it's amazing, there was no lid on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Bobo's in town. Stevie's in town. Talk to the talk to the peeps. And Jeremy's in town. What do we do, guys? I live in town. You live in town. Right? He's in town. Yeah. He's always in town. He's a pain in the ass. <laughs> we are doing. Uh, we did shoulders this morning. What yes. do we do? Shoulder sure. press behind the neck, slow and controlled. No momentum. Close grip front. Presses. Well, little side laterals. laterals. Rear delts. Yeah. And the Titan 2.0 bar with the upright rolls. How nasty yeah, was that? Those were crazy. Oh, wow. That's it's crazy, right? Hard. I mean, it's amazing how the tiniest amount of weight becomes a massive amount of weight. It was great. Yeah, so the Titan 2.0 bar is nasty, but I love that thing because of uh, the athletic ability that it can do for us on that movement. The smallest amount of weight, and it's so hard. Yeah, we had... You guys had 95 pounds, 25, 25. Well, he did. I yeah. did. I had just the bar. Oh, because yeah, I'm looking I just, at the I can't even do one. And then, <laughs> and then we put five pounds on each side. Elias kind of walked over and goes, I'll do 12. Yeah. <laughs> I got this shit. Versus, I'm like, I can't even do one. <laughs> Same here. Um, so we got together, which is cool for the Titan crew because we always talk about community. And so I want to take some time this morning just to talk about community and what we've created with the Titan crew. Um, with some of these knuckleheads here, um, but just the, uh, besides me coaching or, or giving my advice on how I've made it through this career of health and fitness, what I think is cool is that how uh, the others, you guys and the others in the Titan crew talk to each other and become friends and help support each other. Because you were talking about somebody always contacts you guys and tells you or asks you questions about hey, this program does this, what did you do? And you guys kind of give uh, inputs and outputs. Also remember this, uh, Jeremy here, if you guys, all of you get Jeremy's uh, DMs and stuff, he will tell you what he has on Sunday high days. And he has the very best, so make sure to just message him constantly and ask him about his Sunday high days. You want to know about Chips Ahoy cookies, I'm your guy. <laughs> those look, those look good. And all the pizza, you know, and everything. That's because Mike likes Jeremy the best. So he gets, <laughs> that's what he said, you know, because you get the best diet. You, know? you get you get the fish, I get the pizza. <sighs> Boba wants no the donuts. Fish. No, no, no. Leave you come over here for the donuts. For the donuts. donuts. I leave the donuts <laughs> to the wife. She's the donut connoisseur. That's for Heath. Heath donuts. Heath. It was just National Donut Day, wasn't it? Yesterday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did well, you guys get some? No. I watched. I. It's not my thing. I'm a that's, a, that's a that's that's a trap question, guys. Same. Okay. Yeah. Same. Cookies. Got to be crispy on the edges and chewy in the middle. Exactly. Just cool uh, Cookies. Not Just cookies dough. in general. <laughs> right? Or the dough. Yeah. So um, tomorrow we have, we're not going to take the day off Sunday. Um, no. That's when we going. start the week. Yeah. So we're going to jump into some nasty ass squats tomorrow. Again, uh, I will go over here on the 14th or 15th about what style of squats and shoulders or chest or what you should do as you're developing your physique. Jeremy, are we getting on stage next year? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's, I, you know, the first time we met was actually because I thought I should get on stage. And it was really great for the first time following a program, going through the process, because I had always sort of trained, oh, well, I'd done more like functional stuff, so there was really no like definable finish line. It was just go in and move weight. But, um, you know, the, the first process was amazing, and I learned a ton, but I also learned, man, once you really get that lean, and once you really get up there and those bright ass lights are on you, it's like, cool, I have abs. Dude, everyone has abs. It's everything else, and you quickly become very aware of like, wow, like, it's not just crunches and, and tuna fish. There's, right. there's thickness and and um, oh, conditioning point. and whatnot. So it's a great point. Again, had you told me that, I don't know if I would have comprehend. Right. So it's cool. It's a good way to learn. But then you quickly learn. It's like, hey, I need to eat for a couple of years and really develop a little bit more thickness. And then maybe think about it again. So he's talking about the density and thickness, which comes with time. 
time, time, time training and, and staying in an off season. Now, understand when I say off season, I think you guys all understand this. Off season is when off season is the only time you really put on muscle. It is the only time that you structurally change your physique to look the way you want it to. You actually do the chipping away from it um, and fine tuning it as you get ready for the show. But at that stage, you're just taking off the fat. So the off season he's talking about, I think, maybe you guys tell me, uh, is the hardest thing for everybody. Oh, of course. Because they feel like there's no goal. There's no, how long do I got to do this? I'm done. I've been, I've been off season three weeks. Ah, but that's also why I think Power Body Build, the, the, the nine-week program is so great because there's definable benchmarks exactly. based on the percentages. Um, so there, there's, it's almost, I know it's a marathon, not a sprint, but with, with the nine-week program, it is a little bit of a sprint because every week you're hitting a new target. goal and a new target and then you're repopulating your weights for the following week. It's actually pretty motivating. Eight weeks know? accomplished, builder. Yeah, totally. Agreed. I agree with that. You know, one thing I appreciated the whole week is, you know, we always talk about the connective tissue and building that up. But when you're doing it power, just lifting, you don't have the size to go along with than everybody like you talked about. A power bodybuilding brings that. And that's when I met you and how you had me, even this whole week, I thought I slowed down. But no, you had me slow down, control the weight where I'm working the muscle. And that just constantly embedded into my head. And he's like, okay, connective tissue for my part might have been there, but I don't have the body to show. But to build up that body, you have to do what you said. Hey, you have to be on the off season, eat right and let it build up naturally and healthy. So you maintain all that. You're pretty darn good at this. All, all three of these guys, I don't know about Popo, but these two guys. <laughs> you're <not> eating, I'll tell you that. These two guys are really good over the last years uh, um, when I take them off season. So let me try to explain off season again so you guys fully understand. Most of you kids, because I would love for you kids to take the off season relative to what I see on social media now is that most of you kids are uh, trying to stay really lean and all year long being a deficit and, and reps up the yin yang you're gonna burn yourself out and also you're not putting on your growth spurt is until you're 24 25 and what I love is when I was a kid I always heard this and so it stayed with me. it scarred me in a great way they said son you're only going to grow until you're 24. So put as much size on until you're 24 because after that, you're not going to put any size on. And I freaking, I stayed to it. I ate like a horse. Um, and you guys know that by 15, 16, 17 years old, I was already bigger than I am now. And it was because of the point that I knew I only had a short period of time. Now, with that being said, obviously, you can still put on muscle after 24 after 25 but I just I don't want you kids to keep running away and, and trying to diet down at 16 at 17 at 18 years old when you should be trying to put on the muscularity and, and let your body finish growing because again you don't even finish growing height wise until you're 19 20 years old so these are things that if you're taking the nutrients away let's skip bodybuilding let's take fitness out of it if you if you're taking nutrients away and you're 17, 18, and 19, like one of my brothers did for wrestling, you never get to the full height mm -hmm. that you're naturally uh, or genetically prone to be. So for your little ones, you know, yeah. that's, that's one of the biggest things is, is just for any of you kids, any, actually for you parents out there, um, if you're stressed, how would you, how would you guys say that? You guys are all parents. So, how would you talk to a parent about saying, hey, I understand your kid might be a little heavy, um, but don't put them on a deficit or, or try to diet them down to be Mr. Olympia. How would you address that? Well, Jeremy, your son came to work out, but I know I met your son, what, two or what, three years ago? Saw him this week, but wow, just so amazed at the progress he made. And I'll let you just I mean, my, my, my son's a little bit of a unique... <laughs> He, he actually reminds me a little bit of you. You grew up around all these monsters thinking that deadlifting 600 or whatever for reps is normal. He's grown up looking through the lens of kind of how I've been following you and whatnot. So he's been following you since he was about eight. And for his ninth birthday, he was at Gold's. Arnold happened to be there. I mean, the kids had an amazing 
you know, sort of network to tap yeah. into as far as like examples. But um, but this year has been particularly interesting. He, he, when he was about 14 and a half, we really started to see him start to grow and the weights because we were keeping everything higher rep. We were just looking for more conditioning. But ever since you put him on a meal plan, and the meal plans, it, it's, you know, a bulking plan, so there's plenty of food. It doesn't create any type of weird relationship with food. I know some parents are kind of like, ah, like, is it going to, you know, he naturally didn't want to eat Doritos and drink soda and do all that stuff anyway. It's just kind of with the way that he He's plays. like the complete opposite from what I understand of what most kids are. Yeah. No, he oh. doesn't want to have pizza. He doesn't want to cheat. Which So that's... That's kind of like that, that. I mean, that's awesome for you, but oh yeah, I had to. What would you to, say to these guys that uh, that are out there trying to be parents and trying to feed the kid the right thing, but also try to keep them because being a kid is tough. I know I was teased so much as a kid, so it's it's a tough yes. world if you're a little heavy. Well, I guess if you want the best for your kids, maybe you're gonna reflect on yourself and you thinking with all the knowledge you pick up from here. What would you tell your younger self at that age? And one of the things you would definitely tell yourself is to eat right, you know, lift right. So definitely with your kid, son or daughter, you're going to want to give them the best. And the best advice you could give them is to eat right and to lift right. On there. But you, your daughter now is a freshman, right? Yeah. So same. <clears throat> yeah. Freshman. So it's interesting. I know you guys were talking about kids and how to get them to eat right. What I noticed is they're eating right your kids are eating right because they see you guys yeah eating right your kids are reflecting. oh de definitely you know so would that back. be a good way for the parents to start getting in shape which will without 100%. even telling the kids 100 percent. sophie hits me up and goes hey dad i gotta go shopping for my food because i gotta prepare it you know and then it's like i'm so happy hearing that because it's not like you have to eat this this and no she knows the list she's just on the mona's meal plan you know follows that so she gets on there and she makes a shopping list out you know and they say hey i gotta run to costco i gotta run to trader joe's or wherever and then we pick up all that stuff so even has a good quality time with the kid because just spending them time teaching them something invaluable you know that's something invaluable that's going to go so much more than any school education you're going to give them you know i love that so oh, my kids are like you know they go over to a friend's house and they're like hey dad they have these things called plates no, like it's amazing. There was no lid on it. <laughs> they don't weigh their food. They don't. Um, do but yeah, no. I mean, hey, it's it's hard too. I mean, some people don't have yeah. both the husband and wife on the same program. You know, it, it's 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 easy to talk about. It's difficult to do. I'm I'm very blessed where it's like you know my wife my wife does the program with Mona. Um, I do the the meal plan with you. Our kids just this is assumed. You know, like we're gonna be strategic with our eating to make ourselves better. I love that. And one thing I will say that has an effect on it was um, I do have older sons that got they're getting more into the fitness part of it and lifting. But just because you see their daughter and the healthy benefits of it, they start picking that up. And mom doesn't have that part of it. But then Sophie could see the difference and that she knows it's like, hey, you got to sleep right, eat right. And that goes a long way. And you're going to be healthy, you know, if you do that, you know, so it's, it's, just it's different variations because I grew up with nobody in my family at all yeah. working out. And I never seen anybody in my family lift a weight. I started lifting when I was probably about 10 years old and just through the magazines or, you know, watching football, or just trying to idolize someone else in football and just start lifting weights. I wish I'd had somebody like that to follow in my own household. You should see. Bobo looks small. Yes, I do have a big head, you know, but Bobo, if you sit him up for he is a huge guy. He we got Bobo back, on the back so he doesn't yeah, have angle. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That's why he, 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 so. what I love is that um, <laughs> I guess it was Wednesday we were talking, Wednesday or Thursday, and I get a message because we were all talking, um, and Bubba goes, I'm flying out because you saw Steve was out here and stuff and Jeremy, and so he's like, I'm jumping on a plane. And so just for all you Titan crew members, remember that this is basically uh, uh, the Titan crew in the house here is, is we got the gym here. So if you guys are ever in town, you guys come over and get a training in with me. That's part of the uh, Titan crew uh, group that we've created, which I, I love that uh, it's the community. And Clark Parsham always talks about that. It's the community you guys are building. So uh, I love the community. I mean, well, 
trash talk a lot for fun, but when we talk about lifting, we're serious about well, it. Well, let's be you know? let's be clear. Yeah. These two will trash talk. He doesn't know how to trash talk. No, because I'm so nice. I, I don't know trash talk. <laughs> I mean, I'm never I'm never sarcastic or anything. Never. Never. So these two and Mona will trash talk. <laughs> and I'll send you pictures of the food that I'm eating to gloat. Versus Trust me. Yeah. I absolutely love that. <laughs> I, I don't know about you guys, but when we diet, Mona and I diet, well, when I diet, let's not say Mona. Because um, <laughs> I want to be on our diet. We watch, be on our diet. <laughs> we watch this food network like 24-7. Oh, yeah. It's the worst. It's, I will eat that, and I will eat this, and then Jeremy will send me a photo of something. And, I'm like, oh, I'm eating that right now. Oh, we, we all know when Jeremy's on his high day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure. Follow him for his high yeah. day. And then, uh, Bubbo's always on a high day, so always. that's good. And Stevie <laughs> oh, is slicing man. and dicing with me right now. With 